in our work, we talk about the role of power, how do we acknowledge it, how do we share it, how do we dismantle it. But then also we talk about the role of history, trauma, and healing. Uh, and it's not just talking about it, but actually embedding it into every action, every step, every part of the process. And so we hear a lot about like design thinking and let's become more empathetic. But one of the things we even argue is how do you do that? You know, everyone says, let's become more empathetic. And it's like, well, you're not just gonna have a 45 minute interview and then all of a sudden you're the, the <laughs> person of empathy. That's not how it works. And so even in our process and the work and when we're training youth, we talk about the role of humility and the role of understanding your own biases, your own uh, perspectives, understanding that you honestly are a makeup of other people's biases. And I know that's hard to hear, but we are. When you think about where we gather our perspectives, we get them from family, friends, and culture, we get it from our media, we get it from education, and we get it from our environment. And that's power. And that's power to actually dictate what narrative that we believe and how our actions are an output of that narrative. And so for us, when we do our work, we understand the role of the person as well as the role of the system. And understanding that we need to actually be embedded in both parts of those areas.